roller disco. Pepper and her friends are going to a roller disco. <laughs> I love roller discos. Oh, Me too. Oh, <laughs> Madame Gazelle is in charge. Keep going round and round in a circle, children. <laughs> Pepper and George have their roller skates on. Would you like me to walk around with you both, holding your hands? No, Mummy. We are good at skating. <laughs> Pepper and George love roller skating. <laughs> Whoa! Are you OK, Emily? Yes, Daddy. I'm fine. <laughs> Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear are doing the music. They are big clap, children. Clap, clap. <sighs> I wish we could play something grown up. Clap, the Linda clap, Bear clap. is nearly ten years old. What shall we play next? The wheels on the bus, please. Oh, I can't seem to find the wheels on the bus. Look, there it is. Ah, uh, thank you, Madam Gazelle. Wheels on the bus go round and round. This music is so babyish. The wheels on the bus go round and round. George. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Emily. This is fun. It's the first time I've been to one of these things. How many times do the children go round? Uh, hundreds and hundreds of times. Ah. <laughs> the children love going around in a circle hundreds and hundreds of times. <laughs> Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, George. Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy Fox is going the wrong way. Look out, Pedro! <laughs> Everyone goes the same way so you don't bump into each other. <laughs> Hello, Daddy! <laughs> Hello, Peppa! <laughs> Hello, Mummy! <laughs> Hello, Randy! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Emily! Hello! <laughs> Hello, Mummy! <laughs> Hello again, Peppa! Hello again, Daddy! <laughs> Hello again, Emily! What a surprise seeing you here! <laughs> All day long. Now that baby music is finished, we can play something good! I've got just the one! Can we have one potato, two potato, please? <sighs> We have to be quicker with our own music next time. Yes, I've got it ready to play. Wow, Daddy's going backwards. How do you do that? I don't know. Quick, it's over. Put our record on. Yeah, time for some real music. Pepper and her friends do not know how to skate to this music. Oh my word! This is my all time favourite song! Skate on the disco town. Madame Gazelle's roller skates are flashing. Skate on down to the disco town. That's incredible! Madame Gazelle is very good at disco roller skating. Roller Disco. Everyone loves Roller Disco. Parachute Games. It is a lovely sunny day at Playgroup. Pepper and her friends are hard at work painting pictures. I'm painting a tree with all the leaves. I'm painting a rainbow with all the colours. What wonderful paintings, children! You have worked hard, so now... It's time for play! Hooray! <laughs> Look what I have! 
have. It's a rainbow parachute. And we are going to play games with it. Ooh. First, I want the little ones to hold the parachute edge. George, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza are holding on to the parachute. And give it a wiggle like this. Wiggle, wiggle. Look at the way the parachute moves. It is like the sea. Imagine a little boat sailing on that sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. I will put this little toy boat on our sea. The boat, the boat bobs, bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobby bobby bobbing, bobbing around. The boat bobs up and down. And the little boat sails away. Say bye-bye to the boat. Bye-bye. OK, now it is the turn of the big children. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are holding the parachute. Imagine a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer. I spin through space. Together, we are going to turn this parachute into a flying saucer. On the count of three, we lift the parachute up and then let go. Are you ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle. One, two, three, and lift. Up, up, up. And let go. Wow. The parachute looks like a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer. I spin through space. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. It really is spinning. Wow! How does it do that? If you want the full explanation, I could set aside time to go through it later. Yes, thank you, Edmund. Edmund Elephant is very, very clever. <laughs> now everyone hold the parachute. <laughs> All of the children are holding the parachute. Imagine a cooking pot with corn popping. I will use ping pong balls for the corn. What happens now? Well, now the pot gets hotter and the corn is ready to pop. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Wow! You're playing parachute games. Oh, I loved playing parachute games when I was little. My favourite was the rainbow game. Well, we could all play the rainbow game. Yes, please! <laughs> Everyone is holding the parachute. Lift the parachute up, up, up. Now step in and pull down. <laughs> Everyone is inside the rainbow parachute. Oh, it's just like we are inside a rainbow. It's brilliant. I wonder how it stays up like this. I'm very glad you asked. In simple terms, it's a rainy, sunny day. The rainbow's here today. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy, sunny day. It's the best rainbow Pepper loves parachute games. Everybody loves parachute games. Ooh, trampolines! Pepper and her friends have come to the trampoline park. I've never bounced on a trampoline. I bounce lots. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Welcome to the trampoline park. Miss Rabbit is in charge. When you bounce, you must bounce safely. Yes, yes Mrs. Rabbit. Rabbit. First, take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person on each trampoline at a time. Always bounce in the middle. And no clever tricks, just bouncing. It looks fun. Yes, really fun. I might even have a go myself. Happy trampolining, everyone! <laughs> this is brilliant! Yes, but these 
has many trampolines are for little children. These are the trampolines for big children like us. Now we can do really big bounces. Pepper and Rebecca are doing big bounces. <laughs> I love bouncing. <laughs> I think I'll have a go. <laughs> Look, Peppa, your daddy is on a trampoline. <laughs> Are you sure that's a good idea, Daddy Pig? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I want to go too. <laughs> and me. Grown-ups are bouncing on the trampolines. Bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. Mummy Pig is bouncing really high. Bouncing up so high. Not too high, Mummy Pig. Bouncing in the sky. Mummy Pig has landed on top of a tree. Oh, how do I get down? Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll rescue you. Uh, we'll call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Hello, trampoline park. Oh, the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Mummy Pig is stuck in a tree. I'll be right there. Miss Rabbit to the rescue! My goodness, this is embarrassing. Yes, it's the sort of thing that normally happens to me. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll have you down in no time. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hmm. I can't land on the tree. I know. I've got a really good idea. Oh, where's she going? Whee! She's bouncing back into the sky. Here I come. Whee! Wow! This is unbelievable. Yes, it is one of my more amazing rescues. What happens next? Who knows? That was lucky. I forgot the helicopter was here. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Next time, don't bounce quite so high. Yes, Mummy. If you bounce on trampolines, you must bounce safely. Thank you, Peppa. I'll remember that in future. <laughs> Peppa loves trampolines. Everyone loves trampolines. Today, Peppa and her family are going for a walk in the countryside. What a lovely day. Perfect for walking. <laughs> Aha! Here's a sign showing all the ways we can go. So which way do we go? You choose, Peppa. Um, let's go... That way. That way leads up a big hill. That is a big hill. What's at the top of the hill? Well, as it's such a big hill, there's probably something amazing at the top. I want to see the something amazing. Are you sure you want to climb all the way to the top, Pepper? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Pepper and George are climbing the big hill. Mummy and Daddy Pig are climbing the big hill. Phew! My legs are tired already. Oh, I knew it wouldn't be easy. Yay! The top! We did it! Hooray! I don't think this is the top. Look, the hill carries on. Yes, that wasn't the top because it didn't have the something amazing. <laughs> Do you really think there will be something amazing at the top, Daddy Pig? Well, there's got to be a cafe or something. A cafe? <coughs> Brilliant! That will keep me going. <gasps> ah, nearly there, George. 
It is hard work climbing the big hill. Oh, I can't wait to get to the cafe. Um, when I said there's got to be a cafe at the top, I should have added there's a chance there won't be any. Hello there! It is Miss Rabbit's cafe. Amazing! What can I get you? Coffee for Daddy Pig and me, and juices for Pepper and George. Of course. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Mm. This is just what I needed. Yes! It really was worth climbing to the top. Oh, this isn't the top! What? No! You have to keep going up! That way! OK! We've got this far, so we have to keep going. Onward and upward! <laughs> <gasps> Mummy! Why did they make hills so big? <sighs> Don't... No, Peppa. I hope <gasps> the amazing thing at the top is amazing. Yes, I hope so too. Oh, it's all gone foggy. Oh, I think we're in the clouds. We must be near the top. It's getting flat. I think this is it. We made it. Hooray! Hooray! Wow! I can see the whole world. Look, there's the playground. <laughs> I can see the supermarket. And there is Susie. <laughs> I told you it would be amazing at the top. It is amazing. <laughs> now all we have to do is climb down. Well, going downhill is a lot easier than going up. Come on, George. <laughs> Let's roll a bit. Whee! Pepper and George love rolling down hills. <laughs> that looks fun. Can you roll, Daddy? I think if I started rolling down, Pepper, I might not be able to stop. <laughs> Daddy Pig has tripped on a mushroom. Ah! Ah! Wait for us. Rolling down was really fun. Can we climb up the hill and do it again? Of course, but maybe we'll save that for another day. Yes, the big hill will always be here. Oh, goody. <laughs> Peppa loves the big hill. Everybody loves the big hill. Peppa and her friends are at the playground today. I'm a cheeky monkey. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> this is such a great playground. Yes, the children love it. Once they start playing, they never want to stop. Stop! Here is Mr Bull. Stand back, everyone! I'm digging up the playground! Why are you digging up the playground? So I can make a hole for the concrete. Where do you want the concrete, boss? In the hole. Uh, excuse me, Mr Ball. I think there's been some kind of mistake. We don't want the playground dug up. The playground is perfect as it is. With you in a moment. Just need to get the concrete done. Concrete starts off soft. Soft, soft, hard, moo. And then concrete sets as hard as rock. OK, sorry about the wait. What exactly were you all asking? What are you doing? I've made a concrete base. But why? To put this clubhouse on. <gasps> if you don't want it, I can take it away again. We want it! Actually, that does look quite good. It's got a slide and a swing and all kinds of other fancy stuff. <gasps> Hooray! Let me show you around. This is the front door. It looks a bit small, Mr Bull. That's because it's not for grown-ups, Daddy Pig. It's for children. Wow! Everything is children-sized. 
Yes, the clubhouse is not too big and not too small, but just right for children. <gasps> There's a toy cooker. The toy cooker is made of wood and has a light that comes on inside. And a toy fridge. It's got plastic cheese inside. There's a telephone. Does it work? Well, it's a toy telephone made out of wood, but you can pretend it works. Ring, 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 ring. Aren't you going ring, to ring, answer that? Ring, ring. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. <coughs> Who is this? Who is it? It is the king of the world. Thank you. Yes, I am busy right now. Goodbye. <laughs> Peppa loves the wooden telephone. <laughs> This is the hatch with a counter. Ooh. It's like a little shop or a cafe. What do you want from our cafe today, Mr. Bull? Um, what have you got? We have pretend coffee or pretend tea. OK, pretend tea, please. There you go. Have a nice day. Mmm, that hit the spot. <laughs> Mr. Bull likes pretend tea. Can we see the rest of the clubhouse now? Of course. Please go up the ramp to the next floor. <laughs> this is the balcony. Now we're as tall as the grown-ups. Yes. <laughs> and off the end of that balcony is the slide. Whee! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr Bull. Whee! You have done a very good job. I must admit, it is quite good. Three cheers for Mr. Ball! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip, hip! Hooray! Ooh, you are most welcome. Ooh, it looks lovely and cosy. Can I go inside? No, Mummy. Grown-ups are not allowed. But could us grown-ups just have a quick look inside? No, Daddy. Why not? Because the clubhouse is for children. <laughs> Peppa loves the clubhouse. All the children love the clubhouse. <laughs> Peppa and her family are in America on their way to Hollywood. Are we nearly there yet? I don't know. Let's stop and look at the map. Hmm. So, what have we got here? It's another Miss Rabbit. Is everything all right, Miss Rabbit? Sir, did you know that you may only stop on a freeway if it is an emergency? But it is an emergency. We've won tickets to be in Super Potato's new movie, Vegetables in Space. So we need to get to Hollywood. Oh, well, in that case, just hang right and then you head straight on until you see the stars. But it's daytime. The stars aren't in the sky. They're on the ground. Ooh. Ooh. Thank, Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Bye. We've got to look for the stars. <laughs> star. George has seen a star. And another star. There are lots of stars all over the ground. There's Super Potato. Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No, I'm a potato. And I am Hash Brown. Ooh. And I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> we won a ticket to be in your movie. Vegetables in space. Then let's get to the studio. We've got a movie to make. <laughs> Here is the movie studio. This is where we make the movie. Wow! It's like we're really in space. That's right. Time to put on your costumes. <laughs> Pepper and her family are dressed up as broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> you look funny, Mummy Broccoli. So do you, Pepper Broccoli. Shh! No talking on set. We are about to start filming my movie, Vegetables in Space. Lights, camera, action. Attention, the galaxy is being taken over by a bunch of naughty carrots. Not the carrots? Yes, the naughty carrot bunch. I, Super Potato, am here to save the day. And I, Hash Brown, will save the day too! 
Um, what do we do? You are the vegetables in space. You have to cheer when we save the day. Oh, okay. How are you going to save the day, Super Potato? Uh, we haven't thought of that bit yet. Oh, no! The naughty carrots will destroy the universe. If only there was some way of getting rid of them. We can't eat the carrots. But there are too many. Hello? Hello there? What's this? There are some fans here to see Hash Brown. It is Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, and Miss Rabbit. Hooray! It's the Miss Rabbit! We decided to take the day off for a change. We couldn't miss Hash Brown. He's our favorite potato starch-based movie star. <laughs> You're too kind. Uh, could you help us save the universe? We have to eat the carrots. Sure thing, we're rabbits. We love carrots. <laughs> save some for me. I love carrots too. Look, it's our Miss Rabbit. Mmm, yummy. We did it! The universe is saved! Hooray! Thanks to Peppa Pig. And all the Miss Rabbits. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Oh, already? Bye-bye, <sniffs> everyone. Bye. Bye. Have you had a good time in America, Peppa? Yes, <sniffs> it's been amazing. What was the best bit? The it was everything! Peppa has had a wonderful time in America. It is a lovely sunny day in Granny and Grandpa Pig's garden. Peppa and George are helping Grandpa Pig with his raspberry patch. A little bird has come to look at Grandpa Pig's raspberries. Ah! Shoo, shoo! Cheeky birds! Eat my raspberries, would you? The little birds like your raspberries, Grandpa. So do I. It's a good job I'm here to make sure they don't eat them all. Grandpa Pig, I've just had a wonderful idea. <laughs> Let's go camping. Camping? Camping! <laughs> <laughs> we could camp in the garden. No. Let's drive somewhere. Find a nice spot and pitch a tent. But our car is at Grandad Dog's garage, being fixed. Oh, yes. What about the old motorbike? Motorbike? Yes. Grandpa and I have had many adventures on our motorbike when we were younger. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. That was fun. But it was a long time ago, Granny Pig. All the more reason for us to get the old motorbike out again. <laughs> Here it is! Motorbike! What's this funny thing on the side? It's called a sidecar, Pepper. You and George can sit in it. What about my raspberries? You can't take your garden with you, Grandpa. Come on, it'll be fun to get away for a bit. I suppose so. But if we're going to go, I just need to make sure my raspberries will be safe. Pepper and George, you play in the garden while I pack a bag for the trip. OK. <laughs> there. What are you doing with your raspberries, Grandpa? I'm keeping them safe from those pesky birds. Are you planting them in your shed? Um, sort of. Here we are, bags packed and ready to go camping. What are you wearing, Granny? This is my motorcycle jacket. It keeps me warm on the motorbike. Oh, my raspberries will now be safe and sound. Let's go. Very good. Do you have the helmets and goggles? Here they are. You must wear a safety <laughs> helmet if you ride on a motorbike. All aboard. Yes, yes Granny Pig. Pig. Which way should we go? That way. The seaside. Hooray! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, this is the life! <laughs> <laughs> Granny's motorbike goes brum, 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 brum. Granny's motorbike goes brum, 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 all day long. <laughs> this is Grandad Dog's garage. 
Hello. Fill her up, please, Grandad Dog. Granny Pig, I didn't know you had a motorcycle. Yes, we're using it while you fix our car. Well, the car is fixed. You can take it now. Oh. oh. If you don't mind, I think we'll pick it up later. We're having too much fun on the motorbike. Bye. 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 Granny's motorbike goes brum, brum, brum all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at the seaside. Hooray! Let's camp here. But, Granny, we've forgotten the tent. No, we haven't, Pepper. This is a very special camping motorbike. Watch this! Wow! The motorbike has turned into a tent. It's a magic tent. Yes, Pepper. We've got everything we need to sleep by the sea. Hooray! I hope you're not missing your raspberries too much, Grandpa Pig. Not at all, because I made a few adjustments to the motorbike this morning and brought my garden too. Wow! Your raspberry patch! <laughs> Grandpa Pig loves camping, especially when he can bring his garden with him. Rescuing Miss Rabbit. Pepper is visiting the library today. Miss Rabbit is in charge of the library. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Everyone keeps quiet in the library so that books can be enjoyed in silence and calm. <laughs> Here is Mr Bull. He has come to mend the library roof. Shh. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. Just mending the roof. Well, please mend it quietly. This is a library. OK. <gasps> the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Miss Rabbit. Tiddles the Tartars is stuck up a tree again. I'll be right there. Back in a mo. Keep everyone quiet for me. OK. Thank goodness you're here. Tiddles is too high up to reach. Hmm. Do I need a helicopter or an aeroplane or... Oh, a ladder! What a bit of luck! There was already a ladder here. There! Finished! <laughs> Lovely job. Ladder coming through! Stand back, everyone! Got you! Miss Rabbit has rescued Tiddles the Tortoise. Tiddles, you naughty boy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Hello, rescue service. Oh, I'm stuck on the roof. My ladder has vanished into thin air. Oh, uh, how strange. Don't worry, I'm on my way. Thank you. Oh, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Hold tight, Mr Bull. I'm coming up. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just do my job. Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr Bull. Hang on. This is my ladder. Yes. Lucky for you, I, uh, found it. Yes, that was lucky. Bye. Bye. See you later. Oh. So how am I going to get down? In the library, Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are quietly reading a story. Once upon a time, there lived a red monkey and... The emergency telephone! Hello, rescue service. I'm away from my desk right now, but please leave a message after the beep. Hello? Hello? It's me, Miss Rabbit! Help! Hello? This is Daddy Pig. Please rescue me! I'm stuck on the library roof! Uh, how can we rescue you from the roof? Have you got a helicopter or an aeroplane? No. Or a ladder? No. What can we do? I almost can't bring myself to say it. We'll have to call... my dad! Hello, a Grampy Rabbit here. Hello, Dad. I'm at the library. I need rescuing. What? And bring a ladder. 
ladder, you say? Don't worry, I'm on my way. Grumpy Rabbit is going to use a fire engine to rescue Miss Rabbit. Fire engines have ladders. Stand aside! Fire engine coming through! You can't drive a fire engine in here! Shh! Keep your voice down. This is a library. Sorry. Now, where is Miss Rabbit? Up on the roof. Oh, I see. That's why she said bring a ladder. Hang on! I'm coming up! Thank goodness! I'm saved! Miss Rabbit is rescued! Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Dad! Just doing my job. Miss Rabbit and Grampy Rabbit are good at rescuing. All rabbits are good at rescuing. It is a lovely sunny day at Pepper's house. I'm a tiny little fairy. <laughs> what a noisy little fairy. <laughs> Mummy, I'm going to magic you into a frog. Oh dear, please don't. If you turn me into a frog, I'll have to live in a pond on my own and I will be so sad. <laughs> Don't worry, Mummy. It's just pretend. I know, Pepper. I'm pretending too. That's why I winked. What? When someone closes one eye, it is a wink and it means that they are pretending. So... You were pretending to be sad. Yes, it was a joke. Ah, so you were trying to make a joke. It wasn't a very funny joke. <laughs> Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> Zoe Zebra has come to play with Pepper. Hello, Zoe. <coughs> Hello, Pepper. Zoe has her toy monkey. Monkey says, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Let's play in my bedroom. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> How are you today, Monkey? <coughs> oh dear, Monkey has a bad cough. <coughs> That's not Monkey coughing. That's you. No, Monkey has a bad cough. <coughs> Why are you closing and opening your eyes? I am closing one eye because I'm winking. Why? You wink to tell people it's pretend. And Monkey has a cough. <coughs> oh, it's a game. <laughs> Here is George. <laughs> so, Dr George, Monkey has a bad cough. Dr George, what cure do you suggest for the cough? It's just pretend, George. That's why we are winking. <laughs> Peggy Buzz! Good advice, Dr George. Monkey must go to bed. <laughs> and not watch any TV. No fun for Monkey until he is better. <laughs> Thank you, Dr George. <laughs> Daddy Pig has arrived home from work. I'm home. Hello, Daddy Pig. Daddy, Daddy, Monkey had a cough. Dr George told us to put Monkey to bed with no TV. And now Monkey is better. Is there something wrong with your eyes? No, Daddy. We are winking. Oh? It's just pretend. Oh, I see. <laughs> that is clever. And you learned how to wink today, did you? Yes! Well, I learned something new today, too. I learned how to talk like a pirate. Ha ha! Jim lad, shiver me timbers. Arr. Why did you learn to talk like a pirate? Well, you see, I've given up my old job and I've got a new job as a pirate. Daddy Pig, shouldn't we have discussed this first? <laughs> Daddy is just joking, Mummy. <laughs> Shiver me timbers. <laughs> oh, poor Daddy Pig. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that pirate voice. <coughs> Are you pretending, Daddy? No, Pepper. I think this is a real cough. <coughs> Daddy Buzz! Yes, Dr George says straight to bed. And no TV for ten years. Oh, dear. That doesn't sound fun. Hmm. 
I know a nicer way to cure a cough. Oh? You have to wiggle your ears, jump up and down, and quack like a duck. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. What? <laughs> you winked, Mummy. Ho, oh, oh, ho, you're just joking. <laughs> Mummy Pig loves joking. Everyone loves joking. Her and her friends are at playgroup. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Today, as a special treat, some of you are going to spend a day with the police. As a prisoner? <laughs> no, Freddy. As a guest. They will join us as we drive around in our police car helping people. Who would like to go? Me! Me! OK, Peppa and Freddy. <laughs> this is the police car. Have fun. I will call you when it is the children's lunchtime. Right you are, Madam Gazelle. See you later. Don't be late. We are having sandwiches and jelly. Sandwiches and jelly, eh? Mm -hmm. Mm, delicious! The police like sandwiches and jelly. Bye, everyone! Bye! Nino, Nino, Nino! <laughs> Can we use the siren, please? I'm afraid not, Freddy. The siren is to be used only for emergencies. <coughs> What's going on here? Oh, dear. There is a traffic jam. We need to get past all these cars to see what the problem is. Can we use the siren now? Yes! This is just the sort of emergency the siren is for. Hooray! Look! It is Mr Stallion. His car has broken down. The police! Thank goodness you're here! What seems to be the trouble? My car is broken. Don't worry, Mr Stallion. We'll sort this out. Thank you. No need to thank us. We're just doing our job. Car parked in middle of road and obstructing traffic. Now we simply move the car out of the way. Ugh, there. And the traffic can move again. Hooray! Emergency over. Bye-bye, Mr Stallion! Bye-bye! Bye! So you see, children, our day is full of emergencies like that. We never know what will come next. Calling all police. Calling all police. Who's that? It's the police station. Receiving you loud and clear. Over. Emergency! Cat stuck up a tree. Another emergency. Can we use the siren again? Of course, Freddy. We've got a cat to rescue. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. What's going on here, then? It's Mr Cat. Meow. Mr Cat is stuck in the tree. What are you doing up there? I climbed up. Why? It seemed like a good idea at the time. <sighs> and now you're stuck? Yes. It's a good thing we're around to help, isn't it? Yes. <sighs> I'll get the ladder. Don't worry, Mr Cat. We'll get you down. Emergency over. Hooray! Sorry, the tree looked like it would be good fun to climb. Yes, it's not a good idea to have a tree here. Dangerous tree in wrong place. So, children, have you enjoyed your day with the police? It's been brilliant! I want to be a policeman when I grow up. Good lad. Calling the police. Over. Another emergency? How exciting! <laughs> Police Officer Panda, receiving you loud and clear. Over. Peppa and Freddy are late for their lunch. Remember, it is sandwiches and jelly. Over. Late for sandwiches and jelly? Now that's what I call a real emergency. So, can we use the... Use the siren? Of course. It's what the siren was built for. Hooray! Peppa and Freddy love the police car. Everyone loves the police. Peppa and George are playing golf with Grandpa Pig. To play golf is quite simple. You take a golf ball, 
and hit it with a golf club into the hole. Like this. You missed the hole, Grandpa. That's all right. I can hit it again. Missed again, Grandpa. It doesn't matter. You can hit the ball as many times as you like. There. Hooray! <laughs> Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Showing the little ones how to play golf, eh? Yes, that's right. Well, I hope your grandpa is teaching you properly. The secret is to give the golf club a jolly good swing. Wow! The ball went in the hole in one go. Yes, it's called a hole in one. Well done. Grandpa, have you ever done a hole in one? No, I never have. Well, keep trying, old chap. Who knows? You might do it one day. Toodle pip. Bye. Can I have a go now? Of course, Pepper. Do you remember what to do? Yes. You get a ball. A golf ball. And a stick. A golf club. And you hit it. Oh, it didn't go very far. Now it's George's turn. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you can have as many goes as you like. Ready, steady, go. My turn. Ugh, this is impossible. Don't worry, Pepper. We've got all day. <sighs> I'm a bit bored, Grandpa. Ooh, what's that? It looks like a fairy castle. There's a windmill and a dinosaur. It's just kiddie golf, Pepper. It's for little children. But, Grandpa, we are little children. Oh, yes, so you are. All right, you and George can play. <laughs> this is the kiddie golf course. How do we play? Well, I suppose it is quite fun. The ball has to go through that windmill, over the back of the dinosaur, onto a fairy castle and into the hole. Me first. <laughs> you go, George. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> What's this? Grandpa, are you playing kiddie golf? Uh, yes. Pepper and George are little, you see. Lucky you. I wish we could play kiddie golf. You can play with us. Oh, thank you, Pepper. Hmm, let me see now. <laughs> Bad luck, old bean. I say, this is rather fun. <laughs> it must be your turn now, eh, Grandpa Pig? Oh, this is not really my kind of game. Don't worry, Grandpa. You can hit the ball as many times as you like. I suppose so. We've got all day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is it all in one go? You got a hole in one. Yes, I did. For the first time in my life, a hole in one. Hooray! Well done, old chap. My grandpa is the best. Grandpa Pig loves playing golf. Everybody loves playing golf. Pepper and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. <laughs> what game should we play today? Let's play shop. Yay! Shop, 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 shop! The clubhouse has a counter, like a little shop. What are we going to sell? We've got toy plastic fruit and cheese in the fridge. The little shop is open. Ho, ho, ho. What can we buy? Plastic fruit and plastic cheese. Can I have some plastic cheese, please? Yes, Mummy. And maybe a plastic apple to go with it. Thank you. That will be 
A lot of money, please. Oh, dear. I didn't bring any money with me today. That's OK. You can use these buttons. Lovely. Here are two buttons. Thank you. <laughs> Have a nice day. What else do you sell? Um, we've got my toy, Owly. Twit to woo. OK, I'll buy Owly. Here is a button. Thank you. Now Owly is yours. Ooh, it's lovely and cuddly. Can I have Owly back now? What? But I've just bought it for a button. It's just a pretend shop, Mummy. Oh, of course. Owly. Susie Sheep loves her toy owl. Next. Oh, I'm feeling thirsty. Do you have any fruit juice? Um, no. Sorry, Daddy. But we can order some in. The clubhouse has a toy wooden telephone. Hello. We need fruit juice. Thank you. Goodbye. They said we'll have their fruit juice tomorrow. Oh, I see. OK. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Next. Have you got any cakes? Yes, Mummy. We've got a cake in the toy oven. The toy oven is made of wood and has a light that comes on inside. What kind of cake do you want it to be? Um, can it be a carrot cake? OK, it's a carrot cake. That looks delicious. I can't wait to try it. <sighs> it's a plastic toy cake, Mummy. It's not real. Of course. And how much does it cost? One button, please. Have a nice day. Next. What else are you selling in your shop today? Um, we've got magic clothes. Oh, are they invisible clothes? Yes. They are made with the finest cloth. Fantastic. I'll look like an emperor. They cost five buttons. Very expensive. But I suppose that's what you have to pay for invisible clothes. You can try them on if you like, Mr Pig. Leave your old clothes here. Thank you, but I think I'll try them on at home. Have a nice day. That was quite a cue. Now it's finally my turn. I'd like to buy a... Sorry, Daddy, we're closing. Bye. Have a nice day. <laughs> It is time for the children to take a break. It is hard work running a shop. Ice cream! Here is Mr Labrador in his ice cream van. <laughs> Hello, children. What can I get you? Ice cream, please! Ice cream! Ice cream! Thank you! Here is the money. Hang on! These are just buttons. The buttons are pretend money. Of course. Pretend money. How charming. Oh, oh, I'm afraid I haven't got any real money either. No problem, Mr Pig. We take cards. So, that's all the children's ice creams. And one for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best clubhouse in the whole wide world. Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. <laughs> Everyone loves the clubhouse. The lifeboat. Today, Captain Dog is taking Danny and Pepper to visit the lifeboat. Ahoy there, young sailors! Ahoy there, Grumpy Rabbit! We were hoping you could tell us all about the lifeboat. Of course. Hop aboard. <laughs> lifeboats rescue people when they get into trouble at sea. Ooh. You wouldn't believe the number of people who set sail without a moment's thought. Yes. All they had to do was follow a couple of simple rules. Before setting sail, check the weather. Nice and sunny is good for sailing. And always take a phone in case you need to call for help. Simple rules, but it's amazing how many people don't follow them. And then they have to be rescued by my lifeboat. How does the lifeboat rescue them? Good question, Pepper. First, we ring this bell. 
Then I pull this lever and uh, whoosh! The lifeboat shoots down this ramp, making a huge splash to the rescue! Wow! Can I pull the lever now? No, Danny. The lever can only be pulled in a real rescue. The lifeboat won't be launched today. Oh. Thank you for showing us the lifeboat, Grabby Rabbit. You're most welcome. Bye-bye! Bye! All that talk of sailing makes me wish I could set sail again. But, Dad, you're staying at home now. Oh, yes. That's right. I promise to never set sail ever, ever, ever again. Hmm. I fancy a bit of cheese. Grampy Rabbit likes cheese. Oh! There is no cheese in the fridge. No problem. I'll just get some more. This is Madam Cow's cheese shop. It is on a little rock out at sea. Hello? Hello there. Uh, do you by any chance have any cheese? Of course. This is a cheese shop. We have lots and lots of cheese. Goodbye. Good. They've got cheese. Oh, but what if they sell all the cheese before I get over there? I'd better hurry. Oh, dear. Grumpy Rabbit has set sail without his phone. And he has set sail without checking the weather. Oh, the motor seems to be broken. Maybe I should have checked the weather. Grampy Rabbit is out at sea all on his own. And I don't seem to have my phone. How can I call for help? I suppose I could try my voice. That's quite loud. Grumpy Rabbit has the loudest voice in the world. It's Grumpy Rabbit. He needs rescuing. Quick, back to the lifeboat. All aboard the lifeboat. Aye, aye, Captain Dog. Peppa, ring the bell. <laughs> Wait, I said I would never sail again. But Grumpy Rabbit needs rescuing. You're right. Daddy, pull the lever. This is brilliant. The lifeboat goes very fast. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit! You saved me! Uh, would you mind if we carried on over to the cheese shop? Hello. Uh, one piece of cheese, please. Of course. What took you so long? Uh, I got into a bit of trouble on the sea. And we rescued Grumpy Rabbit. Yes, you did a fine job. Uh, and the good thing is that now you have seen exactly how the lifeboat works. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit loves the lifeboat. Everybody loves the lifeboat. Potty training. Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper and George. <laughs> Pepper and Susie are having a tea party. <laughs> Would Teddy like some tea? Yes, please. Teddy loves tea. <laughs> Here you are, then. Thank you very much. <laughs> George is playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur! Grrr. <laughs> George likes playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Oh. <sighs> What's that smell? <sighs> poo poo! Mummy! <laughs> George is done poo poo! Do you need the potty, George? Too late for the potty. <sighs> Oh, yes. Let's get you cleaned up, George. That's better. Now, where were we? Tea. Oh, yes. Does Teddy want more tea? Of course. Teddy likes lots of tea. <laughs> <laughs> there we are, all clean and fresh again. <laughs> Mummy, why can't George go to the toilet like me? George is too little for the toilet, Peppa. He is potty training. Hmm. He is not very good at potty training. He will get better, Peppa. You were just the same once. What? 
I never did potty training. Or me. <laughs> we all did potty training when we were little, Peppa. Even mummies and daddies. Really? Yes. Now I remember sitting on the potty like this. <laughs> so, George, next time, before you poo-poo or wee-wee, call the magic word potty. Potty! That's right, potty. If you do it right, you get to stay all clean and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play giants! <laughs> Fee, fi, fo, fum I smell the smell of a clean, fresh George <laughs> Quick, George, hide from the giants! <laughs> I'm coming to get you, little piggy! <laughs> Excuse me, Madame Sheep Have you seen a little piggy? around here. <laughs> Does he smell clean and soapy fresh? Yes. <laughs> he went that way. Come <laughs> back, you cheeky piggy. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. <laughs> wee wee. Mummy, Daddy, George wants his potty. Come on, George. Let's get you to your potty. George is on his potty. <laughs> well done, Pepper, for shouting out. George did a wee in his potty. But next time, George, you must do the shouting out. <laughs> Call the magic word potty. Potty. Oh, oh, the magic word is potty. So when you want to go, call out for your potty. The magic word is potty. <laughs> <laughs> How high can you throw the ball, Peppa? Really high. Watch this. Woo! <laughs> Catch the ball, George. <laughs> George, you called for the potty. Potty! Hooray! Hooray! Now George is almost grown up, like me. <laughs> <laughs> George loves potty training. Everybody loves potty training. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>